In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a linked table of context within Microsoft Word. So if you notice the first one here where on my book, uh, I have introduction and you can tell it's linked. I'm going to click on it and it's going to take me to the first chapter of my book here. The reason I'm doing this is I'm updating the book for Smashwords and what they do is they link you to this uh, 25 minute long video on how to do this when uh, you can see they want you to add these uh, navigations. So if you need to do this, it's actually not very difficult and I can, I'm going to walk you through it here pretty quickly and I'll also show you a couple tricks that will help you speed up the process. First thing you need to do is go down to the chapter for each. So what all I'm going to do here is I'm grabbing the the title I'm doing control find on my keyboard and what that's going to do is bring up the navigation take me down here and with the whole heading highlighted what you want to do is go on your top ribbon insert bookmark and then you're gonna type the text in so you want to type in I usually just go with the name of the chapter title and click add it's done now if you notice when I typed that I'll show you here again there's no spaces if you put a space it's not gonna allow you to add it so you can either just put it all as one word you can do um, you know hyphens anything like that that's fine but uh, no spaces go back To your table of context, highlight it, back up at your ribbon, you go insert link now, and by default it's usually going to be on this existing file or web page. You want the second one here, place within the document, and then you'll notice I've got bookmarks my first day. You notice I have this headings here too. It's going to try to select the headings, and this is if you're use if you've got any of the um, headings with the the CSS tagging. Uh, I'm not very good about doing that, so what I'm looking at here is the bookmarks option. So my first day, it's highlighted. Hit OK. Now it's underlinked. If I click on it, boom, it takes me down there. This kind of a time-consuming process if you're going to be scrolling down back and forth. So here's a little tip to speed this process up. What you can do to speed the process up is go to view and then go split screen or split window and what it's going to do is it's going to bring your document up in two windows separately. So what you can do is you can have your table of contents in the top one and then you could be going down to your text in the lower one. So notice what I did there. I typed into my uh, find navigation, brief history of Ireland. It's highlighted. I'm going to go insert, bookmark, type in a brief history of Ireland, and I'm just copy and pasting here rather than typing to speed the process up. Hit add. Done. Back up at the head. chapter title. You can also right click and scroll down to link. Still going to be placed in document. You can see I've got a brief history of Ireland. Hit OK. I'm going to do one more overview of Ireland. Pasting it into my navigation. Oops. And the reason it did that is because I was clicked on the top navigation pane, clicked down on the lower one, and then insert bookmark, title it. And you basically just need to repeat that process back up to the top navigation link if you ever want to test it simply just in your top navigation pane hit control on your keyboard holding down control and then 
click on it with your mouse, it's going to take you down there. And you can see we can tell that it's linked correctly. And that's it. You just basically need to repeat this over and over and over again until you get them all linked. I've skipped ahead here, and I am now done doing all of my in-page linking. What I would recommend you do, especially if you're like me and you tend to space off after a certain point in time, is go back through and click on each of your links to make sure that they actually link to the correct place. So I'm just control clicking and making sure that they all link. Once you've done that, you can go back to your view and switch it back to the single pane view. It makes life a lot easier. And at that point, you are done. So hopefully you found this useful, and hopefully I did it in a reasonable amount of time compared to some of the other ones. And uh, if you want to thank me for doing such a great video, feel free to pick up a copy of the book you're seeing on the screen right now, now available on Smashwords.